drar jag igång, så drar vi igång en egen klocka på er. Alltså. Jag ska börja med en sån. Jag är som i baby. För då är du. Jag är ganska dålig på att komma ihåg att flytta några av mina andra spel. Alltså. Så bara att ta tag i en sån plats och så kör jag. Welcome, welcome to Target Lock TV. My name is Simon, and um, with me today I have Noah. Noah Castellanos. Welcome. Yes. Uh, hello. How are you? Uh, I'm I'm doing pretty good right now. Just sitting at home. What about you? I am very good as well. It's been a uh, great morning, and we already been through two games. We have three more games to go. And actually, the timer has already started here on game three. We got Tobias Olson versus Niklas Gould. I will just correct the names here as well. There we go. Um, let's see. I can introduce Tobias list. And would you be able to read out Niklas list later on? Uh, yeah, sure thing. Cool. We got uh, three cartel marauders, uh, all of them naked. We also got Torkel Max with false transponder codes, and the title of uh, Moldy Crow. And uh, we also got Captain Seaver. There we go with elusive. Let's just have a look at Captain Seaver. While you defend or perform an attack before attack dice are rolled, you are not in the enemy's bullseye, you may spend one charge. If you do so, enemy ship gains one jam token. We also have uh, Torkel's ability there, and that is... Uh, at the start of the engagement phase, you may choose one ship in your firing arc. If you do so, that ship engages at initiative zero instead of its normal initiative value this round. Hey. Ooh. Um, I can introduce Nicholas Lisbon. Nicholas God is flying the um, five Petronaki Arena Aces, um, which are the initiative four Nantex. All of them are equipped with Treacherous, which... Uh, allows you to give out a strain token um, in order to cancel damage if there's a ship obstructing attack and a predator which allows them to re-roll those three attack dice those three attack dice bullseye shots now uh, this list um, not as powerful as uh, when there were six of them but it is still a good list I believe he's been flying it for a while now actually right? he's yes. flown this before I think so too. Mostly online, but yeah, mostly online. <laughs> but, yeah, in person this time. I've um, interesting yeah. opening from Nicholas or from both players actually, because usually you see them in most players set up in a corner, but Nicholas opting to just right in the middle. Yes, and these are the generic aces on initiative four. Yeah, um, there's not gonna, there's gonna be a lot of, that's gonna come into play a lot, especially against this, uh, yes, this list, who does not have any initiative four or higher. So, that will be interesting. Yes, we will, we'll see if Niklas gets to taste his own medicine here and facing off against mugs. Yeah. <laughs> He has to make sure to not get initial killed because those Nantex can uh, die really quickly if they're caught. Indeed. Uh, both players opting for the gas club. Yes, we having we have a bump here. Tobias. Yes, that's interesting. At one turn from... Uh, it's hard to get the colors <laughs> right here. It is a neon red-ish. Petronaki yeah, right. Ace. 
Ooh, that's that's. I think he's setting up for a flanking position with that Nantex. Yep. Yeah. The, the Rogers are all set up in front and won't be able to turn in as easily. Go. Why this clears itself from all the arcs? So, uh, Noah, tell me a little bit about yourself. Wh wh where about in Sweden are you at the moment? Well, um, I am at, at the moment, I am in Sundsvall. Uh, and I, I, I'm mostly a local player, so I, I haven't been to many tournaments. Um, I've been to a tournament in Assassin, but I play um, in person and online next week. Mm? And uh, I'm, I mostly play about the uh, Republic. Republic. So, is there any uh, particular Republic type of list that you like to play, or? Uh... Well, um, mainly, I guess two types. I like flying aces, like mm -hmm. Republic aces. I am doing that currently, but um, prior to that, I was flying um, the infamous three Jedi Knights and um, something, mm -hmm. which would be Shock T. I yeah. play that in Galaxy. Oh yeah. We got a greeting in the uh, chat there on YouTube from Brandon. He's saying hi from South Africa. Oh, South Africa. Nice to see people are uh, watching this from different parts of the world. Yeah. It's... Uh, especially in the, the or let's say the, uh, like, with all the COVID stuff, um, one good thing that is, uh, or one thing that's nice to see is the sort of connection of um, a lot of different parts of the world and uh, X Wing and how that, how it's, how we see more connection. Yeah, and especially with places like South Africa, which is in the same time zone as, as, as us as well. Yeah. Oh, we got so some action here. Okay. Let's see. And Focus and Focus one, on hit. one hit. Okay. Ooh. It's a blank out. Blank out. And that's uh, one hit on red Kirax. That's the shield. Two hits. Oh. Spence focus. And he takes one damage card. Okay, so. Nice shots from an Antex here. Let's see if um, Tobias can maybe. I think they're. Back with a vengeance against blue Nantex. I see one eyeball. And no focuses there. Oof, natties. How do you think um, to be as handle this situation currently? Where do you think he will go? That is a good question. Um, I think he might turn up uh, from our view and try to catch white or blue. Yeah, I just, just wonder if uh, an antics at the bottom um, is, is probably won't matter next round, but it can, if it gets behind the entire formation, it could eating at mux yeah and be rough i will just i'll be back in a second i will just remove some dice here yeah. hang on
There we go. Yeah. It's so we got we got a few people watching us. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that already. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like Tobias has set all of his dials. Yeah, all of those dials are set except I believe white. Looks like. Yeah. He, I think he's debating if he wants to turn out or turn in with it. Yeah. <laughs> Turning in my might be very uh, very dangerous move <clears throat> so do you think Nicholas will en engage with white or blue or do you think he will disengage well I think he's you have to consider that one you might get blocked by one of the KREX in which case that is uh, not very good because you're taking a whole barrage of shots but if you don't get blocked you might be able to track yourself and barrel roll yeah. the outside maybe a uh, some arcs. Also, um, another factor for Nicholas probably is that Treacherous. That you look at where Torkoal is, and the shots are most likely going to be obstructed. So you have, you have, um, you can dish out a strain to one of those cartels instead of taking a damage. Yes. So what we see here is uh, Tobias is trying to chase down white or blue he's engaging those nantex but he's uh, leaving his side open to yes um, <laughs> that red one and the red one red the red and uh, i believe yellow might turn down so red and yellow have some nice shots oh but circle's turning in to cover that area mm -hmm. it's a threat just to So Tobias is one of our local players here in Trolletan, and Niklas is uh, has come in for the day from Stockholm. Yeah, I was debating on participating in this event, but uh, it's quite far. Yeah, since well is really <laughs> far up north. Yeah, it's. It's. I think it's geographically. It's the middle of Sweden, isn't it? But it's. Yeah, it's... yeah. It's pretty much in the middle. <laughs> but it, it is quite a distance. It's really. Okay, so we see that Nantex turning in. He's debating on how he wants to move to get Arc on. Yeah. Oh, barrels up. Get the bullseye. We can see Niklas is flexing his brand new templates from his first plays in the Swedish Open. Look really nice. <laughs> A nice template. This a buffet of <laughs> targets for uh, the bullseye. 
Yeah. Like those two Nantags around a house on the nice shot. Every round. Probably upcoming rounds. <laughs> oh, let's see where White's going. White yeah, we got... turning out. Mm -hmm. Going over the gas cloud. Yeah, clipping that. Might even get oh, a get stuck. Get stuck coverage from the gas cloud. The first shot from red might not be obstructed, but could uh, do some damage to white. So he oh is, yeah, we can. He's, he's taking a, um, a detractor token. Uh, it's not an action, so he's tractoring himself to. Yes, yeah, just after to, you uh, execute a maneuver. Yeah. Running. Oh, does Nantex moving towards the top edge of the board? Can, trying to get Tobias to chase him. It seems to have worked this round. Will he take the bait? Will he take the bait? There's a question. Mm -hmm. Bear roll up again. At that distance. This is a uh, start of engagement, and uh, Torkel is measuring for this uh, pilot ability. And he chooses a red. Red ace. Don't matter much for his turn, but in the future it could be very. No. Yeah, I I, mean, I, I find it important to to do all these yeah uh, rituals basically. Oh uh, yeah, so you <laughs> remember? So you don't, yeah, it's like the most important turn, and you forget to do your charcoal max, and then you end up getting initiative <laughs> killed. But the guys are measuring from. Uh, yellow, bullseye, yellow on yellow. Oh, on yellow. See what the results are. Predator. And that's one left. That's predator for three. Three dice. And yellow is taking one sheet and one hit. So this is a Ooh, only a crit. That's spans one focus. Mixed up. It's red spends focus for two hits. And that's oh, a hit. Because Nantex able to get out of trouble, right? <laughs> out of trouble from those air access. Yeah. 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 That's one. Oh, just damage onto the Nantic. Yes. Ooh, loose stabilizer. stabilizer. That's that's bad. And that's all yeah. right. Means he won't be getting an action next turn because unless he, uh, if he goes straight, that is. 
we will be hitting that cast clan. Yes, sometimes it is. It is better to take that damage. <laughs> yeah, to take the damage and just get a better shot. Oh, go to that predator. Spence focus for two. And Max Spence won't focus for two evades. And we're back to dials. We got a Pretty question right from. Toby C from Norway. Is there a cut tomorrow or is it just the 5 0 win? It is no cut tomorrow. It's it's just five rounds of Swiss in this tournament. So it's a soft start for me. Streaming live games. <laughs> it's it's so it, it's it's quite draining after five games, I'll tell you that. <laughs> But we're looking forward to do more of these kinds of events and our own tournaments as well. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah, and thank you so much, Noah, uh, for reaching out today. You were watching the the, the game earlier on and uh, sent me a message asking me if I needed some help and that's so much appreciated. We have uh, Arvid is coming in later on. He's back to uh, do some more commentary uh, with me this afternoon, but I appreciate all the help I can get. And no worries. I, I, I love, I love just watching x -Wing. Next wing, especially to switch a scene because um, I, I've been spectating a lot and looking at matches, so being able to commentate is a pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so welcome. <laughs> so. The players are quite fast here. I mean, there's 10 chips on the table and all dials are set. So. Good pace of play. TV Kyrex turn again. I wonder if Nicholas will engage or if he will just choose to disengage with some of them smoothing out. I think the players are doing <laughs> bluff work, basically, and calling each other's bluffs here. Right, so he spends his charge. That's uh, post transponder codes. Damning that. Is it yellow, Nanto? Or is it? I think it's the yellow one. Yeah, that yellow one is. Not in a great spot this turn. I have a lot of options to run either. Yeah. I straight. Just bumps. We can. Uh, in the still. Still gain the tractor to rotate arc and get a shot. Indeed. Yeah, that is a strength of an antics, right? <laughs> yeah. You can bump, still get a shot well. 
I'm just gonna go and clear out that token there. I'll be back in a second. There we go, I'm back. Uh, yep, gonna do a barrel, probably rotate the arc. And does that get him out of Red's arc? Yeah. It does. We got Saga in the chat, sending a share to Tobias. That's sweet. Very sweet. Oh, it was Nantex. So maneuverable. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with that arc, you can engage and the next turn just instantly engage again and get a shot yeah it looks like uh, Niklas read the table here yeah being able to turn back in and get uh, those arcs pointed towards the RX if he can pull them down or even get one off the port And I think he's worried about yellow this turn because a lot of arcs pointed towards that antex. There we go. So. Straight five for victory. <laughs> Zooming forward. Oh, it is a rough position for it to be, but I think there's only two shots on it. Could be Torco and Sivor. Oh, does this free bank? Is it gonna take a damage for that? Yeah. That's points for Tobias. <laughs> It will not clear. It will. It does clear. Get a nice shot lined up on C4. Yes. I'll be back in just one second. Yeah, I believe he still has to take the damage for the loose stabilizer. Let's see another damage. There it is. And he flipped. Let me go on back. We've got 45 minutes left and we've got a lot of shooting to look forward to. Yeah, a lot of shots, a lot of arcs. Nicholas is trying to decide who he wants to do that. Yeah. 
Wars. Shoot with. So this is blue first. One hit. And spends the evade for one. Oh, spends the focus for to evade that. So no damage so far. Shot was is that shot Jump. obstructed or no. Was ring three. Oh, the the last shot at least. This one might be. No, it sounds like Niklas is switching targets. No. Nothing. Nothing there. Did you catch which one? Oh yeah, uh, yellow one or green. Lime green has got the Max curse. Yeah, no, Max. Oh, Max. One crit going one into direct hit. It's two. So two hold left. Yes. Why is it reminding Niklas that he's got bullseye on the seaward? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's four. That was the predator reroll as well. Yeah, so four and a half, I guess, because predator is like a. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a full blanks. Yeah, so target spends focus for hit hit and a crit. And this is going into. Control. Only taking damage. Taking one damage, yes. No crit though. It's just one regular. Slight confusion when it comes to focus tokens, but it's been. Oh, treacherous. Yes. Got coming into play, so it's going to be able to dodge that. Dodge all of those hits. Yeah. Three hits into lime green. Three damage. Looks like it was a blank out. So yellow is shooting. Prime. I think it might have been outside, so it's only three dice. One hit, and that's evaded. I'm just gonna go and see the board state of Tobias's ships. I'll be back in a second.
Det är inte ett vinnande trick, men det är, det, det är något att arbeta på. Ja, that's what I thought. <coughs> so, red one's taken three damage and one shield, and um, yellow Kirax has only taken one damage plus shield there. So, um, yeah, who do you think has the upper hand now? Well, I think I actually think Tobias. Or is it, if you look at just what has been damaged, yeah, it looks like um, Tobias has the upper hand because um, those two Nantex are very low. So, um, if Turku was able to turn back and uh, not, um, those Marauders are able to get Ark on those Nantex, we might see an initiative kill. Yeah. On those two Nantex, but and also they are worth more than the Kyrex. So he will be only slightly though, he will be getting more points. Nicholas. Yeah, Tobias Nicholas. is in the lead by twenty one points at the moment. I think Nicholas um still able to bring us back since all the Nantex are alive and he um, currently is going to be behind them next round. Yeah. So. Så är vanligt Paul spela. Vad sa du? Jag är så vanligt hos Paul spela. Inte så här. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, this is looks be an important turn or important round. For both players. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Opting for the talent roll. Wants mm -hmm. to keep arc. I continue threatening the. You want to continue to continue to threaten the Nantex. And the K-turn. Max is doing a one bank. Using that mobile arc. He's thinking about his action. Might maybe he maybe he wants to boost or no, going for a turret lock. Will it fit? Yes. Those Kyraxes, they shoot pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. You don't you don't want to get too close. Second. Divor is in a slight angle. So gotta be careful when flying them this close together. Going for the barrel. I'm going for the block here. I'm a bit worried about Seaver now, especially since those two upper Nantex in the corner. Mm -hmm. we, we might be able to hurt Seaver, especially when he doesn't have any tokens. Token. Ingen, no tokens. Oh yeah, 
look at this. Yeah. It'd be four dice. Or it does have elusive, though. A world of hurt. Yeah. And he won't be able to shut down that, um, he, w he won't be able to jam that pink Nantex because it, it has him in bullseye. Oh, yeah. That's off the ability. Nice move. And a barrel roll, and he will have him in bullseye, Seaborg. That is. Yeah. Well. Lines to move. Up. Am I rolling the other way? I think he wants to get at the Carax. Yes. What he is doing though is he's splitting these Natex up so that. Either way, would, uh, whichever way these characters go, there will always be a Nantex to flank. Yeah. I think he's winning the barrel because you do have to rotate that arc to uh, protect yourself, which might. Uh, get Seawar in art. <laughs> Clear that loose stabilizer, which was in use in the last round. Hello, just disengaging. I probably it's gonna have a shot. Moving up on the rock, or or on the gas cloud. That is possible because this is a tractor and not a barrel. Are able to do that? No consequence. Yes, no start of the gas cloud. Gonna have a nice shot onto Torkoal. Nice lineup there from Nicholas. Yeah, 
This is on yellow. It's a predator. Ooh. He wants to do it so badly. Yeah. Chooses violence. Yes. Go through three hits. Oh, he takes two? And, uh, which one is that? Is it red? Uh, it is uh, yellow. Okay, so... What's under two? Range at. Can focus for three? Let's focus for hit, hit, and a crit. And Torkel takes one shield. He's thinking about. Does he want to shoot Ivor, or has he been thinking about, or he's been thinking a lot, and I think he might want to shoot yellow and try to initiative kill yellow? I'm not sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Hard decision. I mean, he could start shooting with uh, the red Petronaki Ace as well. Oh, that's uh, Max. Oh, right, right. Yeah. This is to shoot white into the yellow one. Yeah. Red. He could see that. Oh, surprise. On her left. One. Two. Oh, crit. Crit. Yeah. Just makes yeah. <laughs> Wow. Seavor <laughs> on uh, pink. Hit and a crit. It's got one uh, token, so that's evaded. Niklas says it's in, so this is range 2, I guess. Range 2. Target lock for t hit and a crit. Yeah. And that's evaded. You can hear a deep sigh from, <laughs> from the player's team. Yeah, this turn seems to be just can't get that damage through. Both sides. Yeah. That is two damage on to red. Just gone. The dead Nanta. And not able to shoot back. Because of that local max ability. I got initially called. Two hits. Two More dice, two hits, and that is two damage. The BS is just 
good round for him. He yeah. pulled a lead and is more in his favor. It does hurt not being able to do any damage or not being able to do a lot of damage to pink, but the initiative killed a Nantex. Uh, I will just. I'll be back in a sec. I just had to check which uh, ship took the vermin. Okay. Yeah, that was pink taking those two damage cards. This is looking good for the buyers. Is it the lead yeah. uh, 79 against 38 at the moment? It was a rough turn for Nicholas not being able to kill uh, 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 Eryx. Caused him to lose, uh, lose more, lose more health. Yeah, that's putting Tobias even more in the lead. Oh, lost dial is waiting to be set, and that's uh, blue Kirax. Yeah, Tobias is all of his tiles except that blue Kyrax pretty quickly, so it seems like he has a plan moving forward. For that blue. Yellow is taking it easy. Patreon from blue. Yeah, blue's pretty safe. I don't think he cares if he takes a strain. It's not the target. Let's yeah. focus on Van Kirax. Torkel is getting out. Out of the action. Devor is doing a 3k. Very safe spot for Seaver and uh, might block white. So this is Lime Petronaki, he's got a shot at the uh, red here. Do 
Kevin har ett liv kvar. Ja. Right. This is not really a place where you want to... Oh yeah, that is a bump, which is actually not that bad. Oh, you still got shots from both Seabor and Blue. <laughs> Unable to get an action return, so we could see that... Ignantics destroyed, but does have a shot onto yellow. Well, I mean, he could tractor himself forward as well, going into that gas cloud, get some uh, protection from that, but then yeah. into the... Into uh, Torgo. Yeah. He'll probably get a extra defense die. And a soft mod. I'm really interested in where white's going. So if white points his arc at yellow, then we could see an initiative kill of the yellow Rex. Yeah, I think we might. at a barrel yeah. hoping to work it has got it Nothing for the cloud. Yeah, he's turning in here. Yeah, all of us are sun yellow, I think. <laughs> you might see two ships initiative killed here. He currently does not have arc on that, but yeah, he's gonna turn. Yeah, I think he had bullseye on red though. Red's yeah, only got two. That might be bullseye on yellow. Yeah, let's see who will get muxed this time. Our choice. This is... Okay. Uh, Let's have a both sides. This is white starting. Does he want to reroll that? I think you, I think you just guaranteed the kill here, right? Bends to focus for three. Killed yellow. Yes. Now what? Mm. 
Which one is the C one? Yeah, we got a subscription from subscription from Hawkeye. Thank you very much. One hit into Seavor, and that's two of eights. Range three to Torkoal. Yep. Spends focus for hit and a crit. Mm -hmm. Spends a one and loses the last shield. Slowly whittling away at Torkoal. That's evaded. Blue on pink. That's two hits. That's no. gone. Retrous. I will just walk over and see if I can measure for them. Close call. It's a strain on red and one damage on pink. Okay, so it was a strike. Uh, yeah. It was slightly, slightly tilted. The pink. Lucky. And if it wasn't slightly, slightly tilted enough, then it would have been aligned and then they get shoes. That's two hits. And That's blue, taking one damage. Oh, yeah, shot. Pink shooting. Oh yeah, so this guy is strained. Spends Shield. Yeah. Uh, good run for Nicholas. Being able to kill the Marauder and having Pink survive. Got about 10 minutes left. Now, he's able to kill one of these Marauders or half it, that is 24 points, right? Uh, yeah. 
They are 37. Well, half, half on Oh, yeah. You... Yes, that's true. 24. That would put him in the lead by one point. Yep. We only got nine minutes left. So Nicholas does have a win condition. He just needs to survive and get points. That is true. So he could do two damage onto Parker Maruder, uh, blue or red. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yellow is in a good position to shoot red next turn. And is out of... Might be out of trouble. Probably not. This is so uh... This is tough. It is. Have we got movement? Yeah, both these players are setting tiles really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Considering heavy amount of ships. And does the one hard kind of threaten yellow and the turn out from That does... He is swinging his back towards those two antics. <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous. Yeah. Blue's covering... for a lot. He was clearing that stress. A great position. Yep, you can takes one strain. That touches all of the arcs. Good position. And the yellow just gonna nope out. Looks like he anticipated the turn in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A few more ships to move before that one set. Niklas is moving blue first. Which this might be the last turn of the game. Yes. Only four minutes left. Alright. His current position. 
Depending on where white goes. I think you've got um, you got one shot on Tarkle, and Tarkle is not yet at half. You only need one more damage, and now it puts um, Nicholas in the lead. Two forward. Oops. Yeah. Okay. He's got bullseye on Torkoal though. Yeah. White is getting the Porkel Max treatment. <laughs> I'm shooting at yellow. Uh, he's shooting. Yeah, uh, yellow is shooting at red. Oh, yellow's. Oh, yeah. Nicholas shoots first. And a current. That's range three. And <laughs> gas cloud saved it. Yeah. Oh, damage into red. I think he, yeah. Got shot into Torkoal. It's a one hit. One. <laughs> Spends one yeah. focus. So, blue Kerax on white Nantex. Range one. Oof. Oof. I could bring my white Nantex to half oh, needs. Two veins. That could bring my death obstructed. Straight to death. <laughs> so, two crits. Treacherous. Treacherous. I was taking a current, not half unless it's a direct. Shooting French one into blue. Three hits. Treacherous again. Takes one on. Is that on? This is hard. <laughs> I believe it's on blue. Put some. Uh, White on blue. This will be the last shot. One hit. That is game. Yes, loot. Oh. So that is uh, a week for Tobias. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Tobias, and well played, Nicholas. 
Yeah. And yeah. thank you so much, Noah, for joining me today. It's yeah, no been, worries. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to uh, finish off this round quickly. So thank you and thank everyone who's been watching. We'll be, be back in a few minutes. Okay, uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, see ya.